Hey there, Rob Corn with Column and Post, and today we're going to cover the key points of installing a split column with the split fit key system. When ordering your columns, make sure you ask for split fit as it is an option, and when you get your columns, make sure the split fit logo is on the end of the box. Let's get this column out of the box and get started. The first thing you'll notice when you get the column out of the box is that there's wrapping in three places. This column is split completely from one end to the other, and this tape keeps things in place, making cutting the column much easier. In the end of the column, you'll find a sheet of paper with a complete list of tools and instructions. We will be installing this split column around this 4x4, and split columns are not load-bearing. So when we take the measurement and cut the column, we want to make sure that the column is a quarter of an inch shorter than the opening. We measured this opening already, and it's 89 and a quarter inches. So we subtract our quarter inch, and we measure from the top down and made our mark at 89 inches, giving us a quarter inch play. I'm going to cut the column using an electric skill saw with a carborundum or abrasive type blade. Okay, we've got the column off, and I like to take a piece of 80 grit sandpaper or a file and just kind of clean up the rough edges on the bottom where we made our cut. And we'll go ahead and remove the tape at this time, opening up the column. And when you're opening up this column, keep it pinched with your hands and just let it lightly open up, gently open up. And at this point in time, you can see the keys that are installed in the column. And we're going to go ahead and dry fit. Okay, I've used this blue tape that's available in the column and post split fit kit to uh, temporarily secure these column halves in place so they don't fall apart. And we want to verify the quarter inch at the top and make sure that the load will not be transferred to the column in any way. And also at this stage, I've made some marks on the, the ground and the top to align the column so that it's nice and plump for the final installation. As far as gluing is concerned, we've moved the column so that it's offset, exposing the edges we want to apply the glue to, making it easy for both sides access-wise. You'll notice that I'm applying this tape, applying pressure. You can pull it as tight as need be. It's very strong. And uh, so what you don't want to do is use clamps and squeeze the column so tight that you starve the joint. And if you were a little closer, you could see we're getting a nice little squeeze out along the edge. And you can go ahead and just flatten that out if there's any areas that appear to be dry. While the adhesive on the party line is blown, we're going to go ahead and get the column in position at the bottom. And we're going to do that by, first of all, lining up with our marks that we made on the ground, and then using the new cleats that come with the split fit system. We're going to secure those into place using the supplied Tapcon screws and I've already gone ahead and put those into place and then to keep the column from turning left to right I've used the Vegabond polyurethane adhesive that comes in the split fit kit system and gone ahead and applied it between the cleat and the column. You want to double check and make sure that the keys that are installed in the base fit nicely in between the space on your cleats and that the base lines up with the front of your porch. I'm going to go ahead and glue this into place. Okay, we basically went ahead and repeated the process with the cap and went ahead and nailed it into place with a couple of nails. Once the glue is dry, you can go ahead and remove the tape and then using just a basic putty knife, go ahead and move it along the party line and peel off the excess glue. And then at that point in time, you can go ahead and lightly sand the base, the column, and just lightly touch on the cap. And go ahead and using a standard painter's latex caulk, caulk your seams where the caps and base meet the shaft. Uh, and finish with a high quality latex paint. Uh, thank you for watching our basic installation of a split column using the split fit keys. We think it's a great system and if you give it a try, we believe it will bring value to your home. Thank you.